So go ahead, Don. All right. Read a Dino Finish. Dino Fish. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Dino Fish. So I'm just gonna say Dino Fished. Actually, no. I'm gonna say De No Fish Ed. <laughs> what are your favorite genre of games? Since you play quite a large variety on your channel. Hey, he knows that we play more than Pokemon. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Variety. Yay! Or she. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, but I think I think that's a good question. Well, then why don't you start? Um. Oh. Well. Okay. Um. My that's a tough one. My favorite genre probably would have to be platformers, just like side-scrolling platformers. I don't think. I mean, you you can go wrong. You can go very wrong. But <laughs> most of my favorite games are. Uh, Art, art platformers. So it's probably my favorite, but I also really like RPGs, and I actually really like fighting games, even though I'm terrible at them. They're just fun to slap in and have a grand old time. Uh, I also really like, you know, just all, all sorts of, any whatever. I really like racing games. Uh, I'm not too big on shooters, but they're still super fun multiplayer. So... Pretty much whatever, but mostly for me, platforming and RPGs are my favorites. Oh, and puzzle games are great. I like every genre of game. I'm Ricky. Um, I just, I said I didn't really care for shooters that much. Oh, uh, well, I mean, hey, he asked for one, and you were like, here's all of them. He said favorite, oh, he, 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 did, he did say genre singular, so, whoops. Okay, sorry. Platformers. Yeah. I changed my answer to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Sim games. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, for me, I'm gonna say like action adventure, like uh, just the wide open landscape of games, like The Legend of Zelda, like even the 2D Legend of Zelda games, like like Oracle of Seasons. The the nature of those games, where you get the opportunity to basically control your character wherever he goes and explore, I, I think really clicks for me. Mm-hmm. Definitely. That's a good one. <clears throat> my my favorite is is platformers because I like <laughs> to jump on things. I just think it's just a, they're so simple, but there's so it's, many good ones. It's, just it's a, tried and true, man. Like yeah, you, it's just a good genre. I, I you it's not like you literally can't go wrong, but it's a good platformer is just timeless and fun. Yeah, yeah. there I love platformers. Many of my favorite games are platformers, so I'm gonna go with platformers. There you go. That's my favorite. <clears throat> Oh, oh man, <clears throat> it would have to be probably a tie between uh, RPGs and <laughs> platformers for me. <laughs> um, just because, like, a lot of the games that I grew up with were platformers, and uh, of course, like the Pokemon RPGs. Like, you really can't go wrong when it comes to Pokemon RPGs. So, and like, they're what got me into RPGs in general. So, I think I agree, like, wholeheartedly with Chess. It's RPGs and platformers all the way. <laughs> it's got to be a tie because, well, like I said, my two most nostalgic games are an RPG and a platformer. Plus, I, <laughs> I love Pokemon. <laughs> yes. I can, you know, I can pop in any platformer at any time I want yeah. to. All right, Don, Mister, I'm always last. What's yours? <laughs> I don't want to interrupt anybody else. So I'm, I'm I, I understand, Don. I'm the same way. <clears throat> um, my favorite genre is sports. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> sports. <laughs> oh. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh my God. To no. no. by his uproarious laughter at the broken <laughs> ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hold it in. I was waiting for somebody to be like, no, it's not. <laughs> well, everybody just knows it's not. We don't have to say it to know. <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. It's not actually sports, obviously. Um, <clears throat> RPGs is, is pretty high up there. I don't know if I would say it would be my favorite. Uh, maybe action RPGs. Like, mm -hmm. RPGs where like, you're actively fighting and stuff. Like, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, Secret of Mana. Tales games, not Secret of Mana, <laughs> Sega Densetsu, 3, maybe, uh, I don't know, I like those games, 
Uh, but I also really like adventure games, uh, stuff like like does it count as an adventure game? Phoenix Wright. Uh, uh, it is. Sort, it's sort of point and clicky, definitely. So I mean, I I sort of consider point and click adventures like a separate <laughs> genre, or at least like a sub genre. I really like point and clicks pretty much. I do too. Uh, I also like really. I really like. like I should stop naming genres that I really like. Because <laughs> Matt really hates that, apparently. <laughs> Sorry. How dare you like things and tell people that you like things. The audacity! <laughs> Rest in peace, oh, everybody. Oh, uh, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, can I change my answer? My favorite uh, genre is beat-em-ups. Huh? <laughs> sure. Especially the ones starring me where I beat up Ricky. <laughs> Why me? Adam and Ditto the game. Because you were just yelling at me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. I got it. I saw what you did. <laughs> anyway. Fucking Don was talking. God yeah, God. I was talking. Uh, I also really like fighting games. Like, really, really good. They, I really like them. Um, but I'm not too fantastic at them. I also like RTS games. Not sure if I mentioned this, I like puzzle games. Uh, <laughs> You're the king of Bejeweled. Yeah, I am I am the king. <laughs> Play me in Bejeweled, I will beat you. <laughs> Resume. Or Bejeweled like games with like versus com- like thingamajigs, versus modes like uh, Zookeeper versus on <laughs> mobile phone games. I will beat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're all playing Zookeeper. Dude. Awesome. You should okay. play. I, I, I'm ragging on you. That's enough of that. Yeah. Um, I would say uh, I like games that are action RPG, I would say. Yeah. That would probably be my favorite. It's a good answer. I really like the Kingdom Hearts games and stuff, too. Like. Yep. Fair enough. It was a unique yeah. answer. I'll give it that. Yeah, it's not just a fucking... RPGs and platformers. Yeah, hey. RPGs and platformers. Hey, hey, don't you talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. House of Bats asks, in your opinions, did Generation 3 have any redeeming values? I think we pretty much covered this. Yeah. Well, Meta gross. <laughs> <laughs> Stole my joke. That. Sorry. God. <laughs> God damn it. That's my joke. Damn it. <laughs> um, I, 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 yes. Short answer, yes, it did. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you wanted us to just be like, no, it fucking sucks, but it does. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, we, we talked about that, so. <clears throat> hmm. Fair uh, fair enough. Yeah. It's, right. uh, the answer is yes. We already mentioned them. Go back to first question. Just rewind the video. <laughs> yeah, see first question. Because you did really. Rewind the video. Josh. Josh, <laughs> read. Air <Fair> five. Okay. <laughs> Namsu360 asks, what are all your favorite Sonic characters? Uh, Sir Connery, uh, Dude, no. Rob of the Hedge. <laughs> Rob of the Hedge. Um, Pick one. I can't even Ro- say Rotor's that. gay lover. I can't yeah. even say that. Rob of the Hedge is the shittiest. I'm sorry. Fuck <laughs> Archie. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, what, my is, favorite. What's, what is it really, Matt? Come on. Wow, my favorite <laughs> Sonic character is SBO the Chameleon because he's a chameleon and I'm shallow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's yours, Ricky? My favorite Sonic character is Knuckles. Because... Oh, I knew that one. You don't know. I saw it coming 10,000 miles away. <laughs> if I'm stealing jokes, Josh, what is with you tonight? Now I'm stealing jokes. I'm sick. You are. You sh- 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 joke thief. <laughs> you, they should make a game about you for the 3DS where you steal jokes. <laughs> uh, Instead of rhythms. Sorry. Yeah. You know, uh, in my playthrough of Sims recently, uh, I made Josh a, bl- a burglar. So it's kinda, kinda <laughs> it makes sense now. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. We're all Sims. Well, yeah. My favorite. You, I'm. Not, he's no longer my favorite now. He stole that joke. <laughs> nah, it's it's Knuckles. It's pretty much always been Knuckles. When I was a kid, my favorite color was red. Now it's green. But 
when I was a kid, I was like, this one's red. He's automatically my favorite. Sorry. <laughs> Blue sorry, guy. Other, sorry, other two characters in the series, because that, that's all there was. It was, a, it was a simpler time. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to agree. Knuckles is, has always been, like, my favorite ever since uh, ever since Sonic 3 and Knuckles came out. I loved that character. Knuckles is awesome, dude. I love how gullible he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what makes him... That's one of the things that makes him so great, though. Like... He's also oh really gosh. bad at his job. Yeah, no kidding. Like, but to his credit, to his credit, at some point in Sonic Three and Knuckles, I think he did actually try to kill you. So. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but then like so one time at he least was. He ch- one time he was just standing Sorry. there laughing, and then he just fell over off the. <laughs> It oh my just, god, yeah. It just dawned on me that Jess was talking about when he throws a fucking boulder on you. <laughs> yeah, just like out of fucking nowhere. Like up until that point, he'd just been like an annoyance. And then it's like, whoa, what the hell? Cross the line. <laughs> what the hell, He's man? He's out murder hedgehogs and, and <laughs> foxes. Yeah, dude, Knuckles is such a badass. <laughs> Knuckles is awesome. It's just gullible as shit. Yeah, I love that about him, though. Anyway... How about uh, the rest of you folks? Josh, what about you? My favorite's original of the character. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not Steel. Good uh, answer. No, no, no. I like Tails a lot. He's always been like one of my favorites since, too. Even though he is so annoying when you're playing as Sonic and Tails. Well, only in the special stages. In yeah. The, in the normal stages, he's barely he, there. He just <laughs> dies. To be honest. He dies. He dies. He dies. TBH. <laughs> All right, how about you, Don? So that how about me? You're not last this time. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to be like, uh, waiting, waiting, waiting for Kyle. Did Kyle go ahead, though? No, answer what? your question. Okay. Okay. Anyway, my my favorite Sonic character is uh, a <laughs> tragic one. Uh, E102, Gamma. Oh, great oh, answer. Yeah, awesome. Great, great answer. Oh, yeah. Gamma. Uh, just tuck at the heartstrings, why don't you? <laughs> his story mode is the best thing in that fucking franchise. Yeah. I was going to say game, but I threw you a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see it coming, so... <laughs> so you really did throw me a curveball. Say what? I said you really did throw me a curveball, because I did not see it coming. Gamma? Yes. Oh. And what Ricky said. Uh, okay, I thought you were talking about what Ricky said. I'm talking about both. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, Gamma, Gamma's my favorite. Like, I don't know. His story, it really, like, gets to you. And um, he's never been in anything else. He has, but still. Doesn't count. Yeah. yeah it doesn't count. He's only been in one. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes him special. For sure. Great answer. Yeah, he definitely stood out. Mm-hmm. All right. How about you, Kyle? I know you haven't played as many Sonic games as the rest of us. Well, well, you ruin ruining my setup, but uh, sorry. I was gonna say Grounder. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was gonna uh, explain, you know, the, and the, there's only been one Sonic game that I've played in the past ten years, and that was Sonic and the Secret Rings, which does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I there's. Please. There's no characters, and it's like the characters are characters in another... No. So, I pick I pick Scratch and Grounder from the the cheesy little cartoon because they... They're I remember the them. <laughs> I remember really, really enjoying them when I was a kid because oh, yeah. they were the best. They're awesome. That's a fair answer. I'll accept that. Yeah. And they're sort of kind of from the games. Yeah. Well, they... They they were animated first, and then still only in Japan. What? Huh? I don't know. I'm no, just dude. Sounds. Grounder isn't okay. Grounder's an enemy from Sonic Two, and Scratch looks like an enemy from Sonic Two. Oh, yeah. okay. That's the best way what I can that, put it. What is that enemy called? <laughs> That's uh, uh, Clucker. Clucker, yeah. yeah. Mother. Mm. Mother Clucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh. <sighs> We, we like Sonic, despite what some of you fucking think. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you don't like Sonic Heroes? <gasps> <gasps> Sonic Heroes fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flame her now. 
That's my favorite game. I'm a fan. No, I don't really care. I, I gave that game, like, I liked it when it came out, and then I, I played it again years later, and just, I noticed everything wrong with it. It didn't have the Chow Garden, so it was automatically worse than the last yeah. game I played in the series. Sonic characters. Music Stuff Some asks, what are your guys' favorite fighting games? <coughs> Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah. Brawl. Yep. Brawl's not a fighting game. No, I'm just kidding. I have to say I really like uh, Super Street Fighter 4, and uh, I haven't played Ultimate Marvel, but I liked Marvel 3 a lot. But, I'm sorry. For me, for my money, like, as just a casual uh, dude, I, just, I have the most fun with Brawl. I just do. It's easy to pick up and master. Oh, I really should mention Jump Ultimate Stars. Yeah, boy. That game's awesome. But Brawl's still my favorite. Mm-hmm. Oh, I also really like Dissidia. <laughs> that is a good favorite. one. But, uh... Yeah, it doesn't brawl. really have online. Yeah, it can't be Brawl. In my, for my money. Brawl doesn't really have online either, Josh. But uh Well yeah, but Zing. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pretty much said Brawl? Well no. I, there's somebody in here who's not gonna say Brawl. Done. <laughs> Hi Don. My favorite? Favorite? Like, just the favorite? Yes, it says favorite. What is your it favorite? It says fucking fi- favorite fighting games. Alright, well then just, just one. Just go. It, just list out uh, the I think uh, Brawl is a great game, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite fighting game. <coughs> I played a lot of fighting games in my day. <laughs> um, some some good ones that are uh, fun to just like shoot shit. Similar to how like Smash Bros. is. Power Stone 2. That's fun to shoot the shit in. Uh, recently, PlayStation All Stars. That's pretty fun. Um, despite what people seem to like think about that game, it's actually pretty good. Uh, really buggy, but still pretty good. Um, Ricky mentioned before to Ultimate Stars. I really spent a lot of time uh, playing that game on DS. Yeah, dude, I fucking maxed out the clock on that game. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, let's see what else. You mentioned Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I've been playing that a lot recently. Uh, but I also really liked Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's what started my love for fighting games, I feel like, really. Me too, probably. Yeah. That Dreamcast, man. Home of, like, pretty much a lot of good fighting games. Yes. The Soul Edge and Marvel 2 and uh, Power Stone were all on Dreamcast. Soul Calibur. Well, it wasn't it Soul Edge first? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I played Soul Calibur on Dreamcast, huh? <laughs> it was known as... The first game in the series was Soul Edge. Boom! Headshot. Yeah, but there's also Soul Calibur on Dreamcast. Yeah, yes, Soul Calibur was on the Dreamcast. In fact, uh, Soul Edge was not. Soul Edge was on the PlayStation. So. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Boom, me! <laughs> uh, but anyway... <laughs> I really like a lot of fighting games. Uh, I used to really, really, really like Third Strike, but like playing it, like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, but I actually don't really like playing it recently because like uh, I, I went and bought the, the online edition like on PSN or whatever, and I, I played it and I was like, eh, this game isn't actually, like mechanic-wise, it's not that fun. Like pairing stuff or whatever, like watching that uh, epic... Evo video with Daigo pairing shit out of, like, chun Li's uh, lightning leg super. That's, like, super cool, but playing that game is not actually that fun. Uh, the animation's great. I really respect it for its, like, animation. And I really appreciate good animation in video games, and, like, in a lot of the fighting games, they have that, so... I would mm-hmm. probably say Street Fighter 3, I mean... You're talking about Third Strike specifically, but like just as a whole, I would say it probably has some of the best sprites ever in video games. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They probably like I, I feel like I remember reading like an interview with Capcom or something like that, and they they said like they practically did all there is to do with 2D sprites in that game, and like can't argue with that because fucking it looks great. Yep. Um. Let's see. 
My favorite favorite fighting game. Hmm. I don't know. All of them. All of them. Yeah. All of them for sure. But I guess maybe Street Fighter Two. Back on like all Super Nintendo for the nostalgia factor. I remember uh, my cousin teaching me how to do a Hadouken, and it was just like ingrained in, or Dude, whatever the word is, spurned into my brain. I do have to say that is a that is a seminal moment when you like are able to do your first Hadouken. Josh didn't get to experience that until the 3DS. I remember well, like skyping with him, like telling him how to do one. Well, yeah, but that is a that is a moment like. That is so empowering. Yeah. I can throw fireballs from my hands. I had cool. that game for the super, for not the Super Nintendo, the Genesis. Oh, okay. So I totally just. But like, but I didn't uh, know how to do moves. I was just punch, kick, punch, 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 punch. Press buttons. Ah, uh, mesh. That's how you play fighting games. My yeah, friends call me Hadouken because oh, I'm <laughs> downright fierce. I I feel like Don's having a moment. Blew my mind. Killer Instinct, baby. So good. Great music. Clay Fighter, baby. No. So no. good. No, no, Clay Fighter's not good. You get, Matt, you're joking, but Killer Instinct is actually really good. I, I know, but he came out of nowhere with, like, a random game. Oh, okay. So you decided to come out of nowhere with a random bad game. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, I'm one-upping you with a bad fighting game. How about that? Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fight. Dude, Tournament turn Fighter is so good. <laughs> no. It's terrible. They had the super system before Street Fighter did. Yeah, well, they also had, like, three of the most broken-ass characters in any fighting game ever. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, the fighters. what is balance? How do we do that? I don't know. <laughs> you got the Mango Sentinel. Yeah. So Pringles. Uh, also, oh, wait, you guys didn't really show any love for Melee, but I really like Melee, too. So. Yeah, Melee's... Yeah, I'm good. not, I'm not going to hate on Melee or anything. Melee is fantastic. I love Melee. I spend a ridiculous amount of hours with Melee, but I just think Brawl's better. Yeah. Brawl has online. So yeah. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But it's, just, yeah, it's, no, got, it doesn't. it's got more characters. The only thing that Melee really has over Brawl is it do, is there's no chipping. Uh, I'm sorry. Dr. Mario. Hello? And Dr. Mario. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. And other clones. I am Dr. Mario. With Just kidding. Saving Roy. Death. Okay, we're done. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I you was... <laughs> And I can tell you horror stories about me and Roy. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's enough of me talking about fighting games. I really love fighting games. Yes. We know. Yes. Yeah. We sh- we should move on. All right. Yeah. Well, did, do you have any favorite fighting games, Jess, or do you not? She said brawl. Oh, uh, oh. yeah, brawl. Like I can't really. Like I like a lot of fighting games, but brawl like brawl won me over. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Like I I I only like said brawl at the very beginning because like I haven't played any fighting games and I've like I'm terrible at them. What about a uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom? Oh, dude, that's no go. Shit. <laughs> Why did you do this? <laughs> I made a mistake. I remembered it. That's that probably the one that I do enjoy the most apart from Brawl. I love that That's one. probably because it's the first one that I really? owned, got yeah. a chance to sit down with. Like, I didn't own Street Fighter. I didn't own uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I didn't own Dragon Ball, All Budokai Tenkaichi. Like, now I own fucking Code of Princess, but I'm not about to, you know, go go tell you to buy Code of Princess. Is that a fighting game or a beat-em-up, though? It is... Oh, I guess it... Uh, yeah, that's a beat-em-up. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot of fighting in fighting both of them. I, got, I guess I got those two confused. It's okay. Well, beat 'em ups came from fighting games, yeah, um, but I think there is like a one v one. I don't know, maybe like fighting mode in Code of Princess. I don't know. I've never played it, but I, don't I feel know. like there is like something competitive in it. Probably. No, it's it's more uh, a co op thing, like in Kingdom Hearts. Uh. In right. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh? Whatever. Next question. Yeah. Let's... <laughs> Who asked the last one? Was it Kyle? 
Okay, so it's, so it's me. All right, Zarkonorf asks. What, I oh, feel boy. like I feel like only one of his questions is serious, but we'll ask them all. Yeah. He's he, for the rest of them. Like he showed me this beforehand. He's just being a troll. So. Danendorf, you said Zarkonorf. 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 <laughs> what is everyone's controller setup? Assuming no one is bumming it with the keyboard. I was going to assume you all ha- you all use 64 JPXs, but dot dot dot. I assume yeah, he's that. talking about when we play games on the, yeah, the computer. And then, well, I don't know what 64 JBX is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is either. But, uh, is this like a workout thing? Yes. <laughs> workout <laughs> program? It's a, no, guys, it's a J-pop band. Oh, got it. And then he I, said, these are his silly questions. To Phil, how is Grey's Anatomy? Have you completed it yet? Phil's not here. No, no, the, that wasn't the question. The question did not say Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Oh, Greg's, <laughs> Greg's Greg's Anatomy. anatomy. <laughs> Yeah. That's not okay. Whatever. Well, I can answer this for Phil then. Uh, he's never played Greg's Anatomy. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just completely skipped over that. Uh, I'm gonna go look at the video and see if he spelled it wrong or if you did when you transcribed it. Yeah. Okay. Because we might be making a dumbass out of Zarkonarf and it's not even his fault. Yeah. I, no, I he like he's, he spelled it wrong. He did. Okay. You're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I still love you. He, he knows that I'm joking. I hope that's what he knows. To to Ricky, how is Matt? To Matt, how is Ricky? To everyone. Ocelot from Metal Gear once said that six bullets is more than enough to kill anything that moves. Is this true? Uh, Ricky's fine. No. <laughs> that's sick. No, actually. Yeah, I... I <laughs> Got a cough. Um, let's answer the first one because that's the only real question. I use a PlayStation 3 controller, um, USB hooked up to the computer, and uh, most emulators or uh, games that I play online do have it so that I can just set it up however I want, like with the Nintendo 64 and all that stuff. But um, whenever not, I just uh, use Joy to Key. It's a little hard to understand, but uh, I do use Joy to Key. It's a nifty little program. Yes. Uh, uh, when Joy to Key doesn't really work, uh, or whenever I just feel like using Xpatter, I use Xpatter. It's kind of the same program. So it's got a neat new user interface. So what that's what I use. What controller do you use, though? Uh, my PS3 controller. So PS3 for both of you. Yes. Yeah. I actually use a PS2 controller because fuck that convex right trigger bullshit. Um, fancy, fancy. You don't even uh, have a PS3. I, I don't have a PS3 anyway, so yeah, why would I have the controller? But the controller sucks. I hate it. So uh, even if I had it, I wouldn't use it. I use a PS2 controller that I plug into a Smart Joy adapter that's like a USB thing. But uh, like Matt, I could set it up however. I am bumming it with a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> yep, same here. Uh, I use my PS3 controller, even though I've only used it, like, once on my computer. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, another thing. I uh, I actually own, like, uh, Sega Saturn uh, controllers that are USB, so I use that sometimes for, like, uh, Genesis games and stuff. Cool. cool. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I believe I used it during our long lost uh, Streets of Rage let's play. Oh, what's what's that? Streets of what? Huh? What? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what's what? Long lost Raging Streets? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What? Next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can. I just want to say one thing for the six bullets ones. Uh, what's the like super duper big gun in Left 4 Dead 2? Um, is that like the M60 uh, or something? The big gun. Uh huh. The BFG. I don't know. Yeah, what it's called. the one that you can't uh, pick up ammo for. I mean, apart oh, from the, the grenade rocket launcher. It's... Rocket launcher? Or no? Uh, no, no. I, I'm pretty sure you're talking about like the machine gun. Yeah. Have you I once gun? had one full, and a tank showed up, and it was a good long way away, and I unloaded an entire round, and it, like no, not entire round, the entire gun. <laughs> into his face, and it still killed me. So no, six bullets is not enough to kill anything that moves. You wrong, yeah, there you wrong ocelot. We have I'll settled it. Idiot. Mythbusters busted it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'd also like to bring up 50 Cent got shot nine times. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Oh my God. Josh, this is your podcast, man. This is just, this is all you. I want you to just do the rest. I, I He's on fire. Boom, <laughs> shakala. Josh, this is I am I am giving you the channel. <laughs> the keys are yours. <laughs> Take it, bro. I was even joking. That was serious. I know. It's funny. Yeah. It's raining. He, had, he <laughs> did have a video game where you had to be shot nine times to die. Really. Yeah, the, that, that was like the 10. stipulation. That was like the gimmick. Yeah, that's, I, I don't know about headshots, but whatever. that's just bizarre. If I got shot nine times, I would not put that in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I'm not Fifty Cent, I guess. Yeah. I, I want to see like a like a meme JPEG of like Ocelot saying saying whatever you just said, and then like a picture of Fifty, 50 Cent saying "bitch, please." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you were using your fishing. Ask and you shall receive. We got our Gyarados is sick of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> favorite. That needs to be a meme. <laughs> no, yeah. Truly Charmful asks, To all, which Pokemon game is your guys' favorites? Yeah, we pretty much have. We, we've taken care of that one. To yeah. all, what are your guys... What are you guys... That They didn't fuck up, I did. <laughs> what are you guys doing when you are not gaming with each other? I think that's a good question. <laughs> Gaming, gaming by ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, yeah, we're uh, working. We also yeah, we uh, we yeah. we talk to each other a lot, even when we're not playing games. So I mean, yeah. there's a lot. Yeah, it, like those of us who have jobs are working, or we're just talking amongst ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we we're not always recording for the channel. So I mean, there are days where we'll just be on Skype, just talking to each other. Like some of us so, might be playing games, but we're not playing it for anything or with each other even. Yeah. yeah. Oftentimes there's gaming and Skyping at the same time, like solo gaming and Skyping. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we're all playing different games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those, are, those nights are always fun. I uh, I like to draw a lot. Some of you probably knew that already, but I just thought I would put that out there. I sprite. That's that go to college that he does. I build to get more knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. Not with what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I built to get more dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you too, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's take a shower together. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I disagree. I don't think we're in there. I disagree. Let's see some money. Try. <laughs> All right. Anyway, nobody. Next nice question. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good question, though. I thought I like. Huh. I like that one. Truly charmful. Mm -hmm. You are truly charmful. <laughs> uh, Shag Turtles asks Matt, do you believe the Sonic games will ever pick up to the glory they were before? Sorry, Shag Turtles. I gave you a voice. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I doubt they actually sound like. That. Yeah, you, you don't. I you probably don't. I I don't I don't know if they kept going on the route that Sonic Generations is going. I think Sonic will be just fine, but I don't know if it'll ever be as prominent as it was back then. I think back the game the was like console system. Yeah, I think the games could very well go back to being as good as Sonic Three. Like I think if they just refine the the gameplay of uh, Generations just a little bit, I think it could they they can make a game as good as the ones they used to make, but I think Sonic has just faltered so much that he's kind of, he's not as relevant anymore, like he's still got his diehards obviously, god obviously, but you know better than anybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, don't, I don't know if Sonic will ever be what he once was so, that, I hope that answers your question it does it just fine. I think you answered it fine, yeah. yeah. Isamim asks, previously you mentioned that some of you have met in person before. I want to know who met who in person. I really like this question. <laughs> well, Matt and Rick 
I meant. <laughs> Ricky's met the most of us, so why I have, let him answer? I, uh, I am the winner of this pointless game. Yeah. Obviously, you know, I mentioned this earlier, Kyle and I went to high school together, so that one only half counts. Uh, I have met Matt in person probably, would you say five times? I want to say five. Is it five? Five times. I think five, four or five. Uh, I want to say five. I would say five. Disneyland, twice. Anime Expo, my house. Somewhere. Whatever. Maybe only. I, I I think we went to Disneyland three times, buddy. Did we really? Yeah, remember because we <coughs> there was the time when it was just. It, yeah, we did. You're right. We did. So five times. I met yeah. Matt five times. I've met Jess twice. Uh, Which is because, a shame because they live in the same. Yeah, yeah we state. Same state. we actually both live in the same fucking city. It's just that <laughs> Chicago is the big, the third biggest city in the country. So we're like an hour apart from each other, even though we're in the same city. But. <laughs> Uh, I've met Jess twice. I've met Steven once at uh, Comic-Con. And that is it. I've never met Don or Josh or Phil, because that's a whole can of worms. Yeah. He's all the way across the pond over there. Uh, <laughs> but I've never met Tim or anybody else. I've met... Uh, you also went to uh, school with Viper. <clears throat> oh, right. I did, yes. Viper <laughs> also went to high school with Kyle and me. So mm-hmm. She also was an underclassman for Just us, kidding. so... Yeah. So let that be a weirder one. Yeah. So I've, I've I've met Viper and Kyle, and Ricky and mm-hmm. Jess. I forgot that we did actually uh, meet at Disneyland the one time too. Yeah. And yeah, that I, was. I I slept in Kyle's house. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That but that one was for Anime Expo. Yeah, so. I know, but I, I I'm just saying that I've done that. I've slept in Ricky's house too. Yep. I'm a bum. I've slept in Ricky's I've, house too. I've met the most. People, but you've slept in the most houses. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I'm coming over. <laughs> All right, just warm up this some stuff. <laughs> warm up the sofa bed. <laughs> Traveling entirely over the entire country. Yeah, I, I gotta gotta go a long way. Too many entirely. I, I need to travel by map. <laughs> hey, but then you could go to Disney World, but you have to fly again. Oh. Well, fuck that. <laughs> Down to I'm not Florida. So. Uh, good question. That yeah. uh, that pretty much covers it. Those are the only people that have met each other. If we have... Me and Matt are eventually going to Evo. Yeah, Evo, baby! Yeah. Let's do, let's do it. Eventually yeah, you'll just year. shout, Teak, start fireball20xl.com. <laughs> Not anymore, I won't. <laughs> I forgot that we did that. Oh, <laughs> I <don't. laughs> What a trip down memory lane. <laughs> We're not funny. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 As proven by Shout's <laughs> URLs at Anime Expo. Anyway, somebody asked an- Josh. Right. Next question. Go. I'll read it. Uh, Wake Wolf thirty eight asks, "Jeez, oh, which is worse, Majora's Mask or Twilight Princess?" Whoa! Hey. Hold. Whoa! Uh, that that's a hey. question. There's a second part. Let me let me just ask you before y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what is your following. favorite Mega Man stage? Okay. First, first question is a loaded question, as everybody's reaction should tell you. <laughs> yeah. If you're okay. asking Twilight Princess, in my opinion, aren't even on the same level. They're also not bad. There's no worse. <laughs> I mean, I guess yeah, one is not, worse. Not, they're not bad. I just one's better than the other. I think. I guess one's worse, but uh, I mean, they're not bad. I feel like this is a negative question. <laughs> the I, question is like the, I, the way the question is framed is that these are the goose eggs of the Zelda franchise, which is the biggest load of crap mm-hmm. that you can <laughs> be feeding us. Like for all the for all the crap that <laughs> I, that uh, the gaming community gives to Twilight Princess, it's because of like little things that sometimes bother you. But when you look at it in retrospect and really look at the whole game, it's a fantastic game. Yes, I can you know gripe about Zant being the best thing ever, and then devolving into a psychopathic sycophant, and it, how it drives me nuts. I can complain about how the world is absolutely enormous, and the game is crazy hard to get through until you finally get a Pona like two dungeons in. But uh, the tears, tears yeah. are you know I I can I can go on about you know little things here and there which are a pain. But the game also features some 
of the best things that happened to the Zelda franchise at that point in time. Midna, uh, Stall Lord, hmm. the bosses in general, I would say. Yeah, but, uh, all the bosses in that game are awesome. awesome. Oh, it's Especially a dungeon. Stallard. I think, to, uh, yeah, I think Twilight Princess is great. So it doesn't really deserve to be, like, in the like context of this question. Uh, yeah. yeah, I will and, say though. Yeah. yeah, Rick, please defend Majora's Mask now because you can do it better than I can. If you, you if you want to fight, Majora's <laughs> Mask happens to be my favorite Zelda game. So. Me? You want to fight with me? No, not you. <laughs> Wake oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. God. My favorite as well. <laughs> I uh, so I would never say that that was worse than any Zelda game because I don't believe it. I there's <laughs> there's a lot that I see. I want to I want to make a clear distinction here. I don't think it's a flaw of the game, but I totally understand why somebody would not like a lot of stuff about Majora's Mask. I understand that saving is a major bu- fucking pain in the ass, <laughs> but uh, it's all everything in Majora's Mask is deliberate. The Deliberate. There's not a V in that word. <laughs> Everything <laughs> in that game is deliberate. They, you know, they they make you have to save at these specific intervals so that you are forced to relive these three days. You know, the, the whole world and the way that you get attached to these characters and what drives you to want to save it so badly is all the decisions they made. You know, I understand that like having to do the same three days over again can be. I, I totally understand why somebody would not like that, but I don't think it's a flaw of the game. For me, I think it's a plus. I think all the best stuff in Majora's Mask is possible because of the decisions they made. That's what gets you so attached to this world and these characters, and that that is your driving force to want to save it, is that yeah. you are seeing it over and over again like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to, uh, real quick, I want to go back and say that I do not, like when I said... Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess are not on the same level. That does not mean I dislike Twilight Princess. I actually do quite like it. I just like Majora's Mask more. Like it was, it was one of the first Zelda games I ever played, and it remains my favorite to this day. I uh, just, I don't, I don't, I feel the need to cover my ass here, but this is not a nostalgia goggles thing because I played Ocarina of Time before Majora's Mask, and I thought it was the shit. And I was like, man, <laughs> no, no game is going to be better in Ocarina of Time. I was wrong. Surprise! Surprise! So that's nostalgia goggles do not come into play there. Just yeah. FYI. I uh I too think Majora's Mask is better for all reasons and more that Ricky mentioned. But I don't think either game is bad, so uh Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am in the camp that uh the three day system's really grated upon. So <laughs> I say I say Twilight Princess is better. Yeah. I like Twilight Princess better because I haven't played Majora's Mask. Ah! Uh, yes! Uh, uh, I don't play every Zelda game. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I never uh, actually beat Majora's Mask fully, so I can't really... You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want yeah. the keys back. <laughs> I just... Okay. I love that game, so... Oh. That's, that's my answer. But the way it was worded was... Loaded shame, question. Yeah. Shame yeah. on you. There's a there's a second part to that question though. Um, it's not about oh, right. Zelda, but favorite it has Mega Man stage. favorite Mega Man stage. That's a fun question. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that question. I have no idea where to go with it. That's a tough one. Yeah. I I really like, uh, like the the platforms and Ring Man stage. I just think it's a cool gimmick. How they disappear underneath underneath you. I also really like Napalm Man stage because it's, it's Vietnam and like that's. <laughs> That's horrible, and I can't believe they did that, but it's awesome. <laughs> it's just, it's awesome. Um, but uh, it's not that fun to play. It's actually kind of, kind of difficult. So, I don't know. That's a tough, tough question. But those like, are the two that, like, come to mind. I like Gravity Man stage. That's, the yeah, Gravity another, Man is pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say, Gravity Man stage is really cool. Another that's stage. An with cho- that's an excellent great, choice. Great gimmick. That was, like, Mario Galaxy way before its time. Yeah, I, uh, I guess I would, uh, yeah. Uh, Gravity Man and Charge Man stage because it's entirely train based and it has mess and trains and that's awesome. <laughs> 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 Both of those are from Mega Man 5 that it's unintentional. Those are just the first two that came to my mind. Uh, I only played two Mega Man games so I'd have to say between the first one and the second one I'd have to say maybe Woodman stage just because Woodman's cool. 
and ostriches for no reason. Yeah. Well, his level has robotic ostriches, bats, and big monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for encourage for uh for you know encouraging that and uh backing me up. Oh, it it does. It's a suit, yeah. man. Uh, what's everybody else's favorites? Is Don, what are you about you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, other than, like, maybe Gravity Man stage, I don't want to say, like, that one stands out the most. Yeah. How about you, Jess? <laughs> I, I would have to agree with Don and Matt, but I love Gravity Man stage. Yeah, I, I call it an excellent choice. I'm going to say the Robot Master Museum. <laughs> that's, yeah, dude. That's... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good answer. It's a pretty cool stage. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to say it doesn't count, but it does. So, like, <laughs> I, I, I respect that answer. It's a good one. I, I, it's another one where I'm kind of copping out, because it's been too long since I played any of the Mega Man games to, like, recollect, you know, the intricacies of various stages. Uh, my favorite is... Like, I, I, it's like, I don't remember the exact gimmicks in, like, Gemini Man or Crystal Man's I remember them being like super shiny, but that's all. Yeah. My, my like I don't re- I don't remember you know gimmicks for <laughs> uh, Snake Man or Shadow Man or Skull Man. I don't remember any of them. Snake Man just had a lot of pipes. None of yeah. Excuse me. None of those oh. stages really had like gimmicks on, other than like the lights would shut off in Shadow Man stage because hey, what's his name, guys? Shadow Man. Um, but like. The, the gimmicks that really stand out to me are like Gravity Man's messed up gravity and the disappearing platforms from Ring Man stage. Not not to be confused, okay, I should elaborate, because like those disappearing blocks that nobody likes are not what I'm talking about. There's these like plat- <laughs> there's these like platforms that like as you run across them they're like and they like disappear underneath your feet. And I just Oh thought, my gosh, I remember that sound. I just thought they were cool. Like they were cool. Um so Best stage is the intro stage from Mega Man X. What that song? That song is way better than that stage. <laughs> I can tell you which ones suck. I freaking hate Crash Man's stage and Elect Man's stage. Okay, Elect Man's stage, yes. What's wrong with Crash Man's stage? It's also got lots of verticals and uh, those like suction cup propeller hat things would always kill me when I was little. I mean, they metal would just, blades. They would just they would just rape me. Metal just blades like solve everything. <laughs> Isn't Crash Man stage the one with a little dipper in it? Um, probably. You go into space at the end. I know. In space. In space. <laughs> All right. I think. Did we cover everybody? Yeah. I think so. Do 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 do. Uh, Gothic Panda 666 asks three questions. Who is your guys' favorite Nintendo mascots? What is your favorite Legend of Zelda game? And who is your favorite video game villain, such as Eggman, Ganondorf, Bowser, etc.? <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Uh... For Nintendo Mark. mascots, I mean, like, the, the the list of characters that we can pick is already, like, super narrow. Yeah, mm-hmm. Well, for me, it's that's an easy one. Yeah. I'll go first. Mine's Wario. Wow, wow, Wario! Wario's pretty great. Uh, I, I will say he's one of my favorites. But, I mean, I guess I'd, <laughs> I would say Mario, which is the most generic answer ever that can be given <laughs> to a question... Um, but I mean, if you want to go with like the main mascots from a game, Mario, it's, he's got it all. Yeah. Nope. Wahoo! I'd probably have to say either Luigi or Yoshi. Yeah. See, like, I was gonna say Kirby, but like Luigi is. So cool. <laughs> Luigi is awesome. I fucking love Luigi. Yeah. Luigi, Luigi definitely comes close for a second for me, but Wario. <laughs> he's just man. Wario's the man. Yeah, he's... Just, yeah. He is, That's like, the, the funniest, manliest, grossest character. He's just awesome. But uh, Luigi just cracks me up. He always has. Like, mm-hmm. 
like uh, I don't want to live in a world where like there is no Mario and there's only Luigi. Like Luigi's only as interesting as he is because of Mario, because mm-hmm. he's not Mario. Like mm-hmm. that's what attracts me to him so much. You're absolutely right. Like he he's <clears throat> just uh, he's a great character. Also, green is my favorite color. I mentioned that earlier, so <laughs> mm-hmm. that's a thing. I'm going to go with Luigi, if you count him as a mascot. If not, then Kirby. Fair enough. I, th- I think uh, you're fine. If it, he, They're on the Brawl roster, so you're good. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> ice climbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. They do ice climbers. <laughs> Rob is cool, too. Uh, Sonic. Mr. Game One. <laughs> he doesn't Sneak. count! Sneak. Okay. My favorite okay. Nintendo mascot. Yeah. Mega Man. <laughs> Oh man! I really, uh, my favorite boring Luigi is uh, is Princess Peach. I can't not love Princess Peach. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she just walks I away from explosions. Did. Yeah, she didn't give a fuck. I have to say, man, like I didn't. I I always liked Peach fine, but I never really appreciated her until like her victory taunts in Melee and Brawl, where she oh just she just like trolls the fuck out of you. It's like that's <laughs> godlike. It's the best. Uh, it's good. I just like, I, I got good with her in <laughs> melee because I just liked her victory taunts so much. They were so satisfying to win a match. One of my like, favorites from Brawl is when she like she's kind of dancing in place. She kind of picks her drips off the floor like la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my favorite of hers. She's the master troll, and I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Link because because I like Link. Link's a good Link's one. Link's awesome. Yeah. Good choice. Fair enough choice. What about favorite Zelda game? Since that's the second part of this question. Well, I answered that already. Mine is Majora's Mask. <laughs> and I answered that already too. Uh, you did. Uh, mine's Wind Waker. And I'm an Ocarina kid. I'm Skyward Sword. Oh, oh, well, good on you. Yeah, I think Skyward Sword is a great answer. It's probably my second favorite. It's just... <sighs> it has its flaws. It definitely does. I love it so much. I think it shines brighter than Majora's Mask ever did. But I think the worst parts of it are also worse than anything in Majora's Mask. So mm-hmm. it's it's tough. It's close. Fair. Jazz. <laughs> I already answered. Oh. Majora's Mask. Okay. In case we anybody just... missed it the first time. Yep. That, that was the best sing-songy thing I've heard all night. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome that we each had different answers. Except uh, for almost. you, Ricky yeah. and Jess. Yeah. <laughs> Except for me and Ricky. Me and Jess are on that. My favorite is Zelda too. <laughs> I wanted to mention, I kind of glossed over it when Kyle said that he was an Ocarina kid, but I wanted to just point out in his... Now, I don't feel the need to defend him, but there's no nostalgia goggles in place there either. Because he didn't play that until later. Yeah, I like played it on the GameCube. So, yeah. There you go. I'm also the only 2D kid. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which leaves favorite video game villain. Uh, I like that question. I know what Matt's gonna say. I do, cause <laughs> there's a lot. Cause like, uh, like, even for like, even if like you consider all like, all the links to be one link, which you could, but you go could also not there's a bunch of different zelda enemies because so this is a much this has a lot of answers yeah i want to know what ricky thinks i'm gonna say you're gonna say ganondorf (laughs) fuck yeah i'm gonna say ganondorf (laughs) we know each other too well yeah man what do you you thought you could like slip one past me (laughs) i I didn't know i i thought maybe i could get away with it nope is there a specific Ganondorf, or is it all encompassing? Or they're they, all the same. They're all the same, dude. Uh, well, yeah, but like, well, like boss battle, I think. Just oh. asking. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess my favorite Ganondorf is the one from Wind Waker, just because it's my favorite game and my favorite boss battle. But I mean, <laughs> Ganondorf has just always been one of my favorite villains because he's just he's evil. Like he's just pure evil throughout. Like in, like as much as I love Bowser and Doctor Eggman, they always help out the main hero. They Bowser <laughs> joins up with Mario more than he fights him, and Eggman it seems ever since 
game stopped being in 2D at the end, he always ends up teaming up with Sonic 2. It's like, as much as I love those characters, they're not as villainous as they want to be. And Ganondorf is just always a villain. He's always evil. He's always up to no good. And he's just... I just... I love him for that. I think he's... I think he's really menacing. I think he's a legit threat. And, uh... I always look forward to fighting him and seeing what they're going to do with him next. I don't... I, I, I also appreciate that he's not in every Zelda game. I appreciate yeah, that they switch things up. That they don't let him get stale. Like, uh... Bowser and Eggman. I appreciate... <laughs> I do appreciate that. Uh, and I think that actually makes his presence in other games even stronger. Except maybe Twilight Princess. But, um... <laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there. Somebody else go. Don, how about you? Let's get you again early on this one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I really like villains that are, um... That, like, really interact with the main character. Like, one of my most, my most recent, like, favorite villains is Hades in characters. Oh, my gosh. Just, like, oh, my gosh. Dude, dude. With, uh, dude. It hits so well. He forgot about Hades. Oh, snap. <laughs> he got duped. When freaky aliens make give you lemons, make freaky alien lemonade. <laughs> God, I love Hades so much. Hades is pretty great. Uh, yeah. But other than that, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Hades is, is a great pick. Yeah, <laughs> Hades is definitely pretty fantastic. Um, oh, like uh, once again, uh, similar to that is a uh, Zero Junior in recent. Oh, yeah. Zero, Zero the third. Escape. Oh my god. Yeah, Zero, Zero the third. Very funny with all the funny puns. <laughs> I, I had a blast with <coughs> the, third, the whole time that he stuck around in, in Virtue's Last Reward. He was great. I agree with you there as well. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Those are my current favorites. Rick. All right. Um, I really... I like, I like Ganondorf a lot for all the reasons that um, Matt said. But... I think if I was being honest with myself, I would have to call Bowser my like all-time favorite villain. Mm. Even I know Matt was like, you know, he's he's kind of really ineffective as a villain, but that's one of the things that really endears him <laughs> to me is that he doesn't give up like ever. Like even in like Mario RPG and Super Paper Mario, when he teams up with Mario, he's still like you could see the gears turning in his head where he's like, "How can I like turn this situation you know, into in my favor. In my favor, like in Mario RPG, he straight up like convinces himself that Mario is working for him. Like that is the only way that he can like <laughs> make this situation make sense in his head. And that just—he's a really like—he's really good at balancing like being comedic and being intimidating and being both at the same time. <laughs> and that's a tough line uh, for for villains to handle. So I think if I was being honest with myself, I would say Bowser. But I do um, want to give honorable mention to. Um, Dahlia from Phoenix Wright 3. Oh, ooh, uh, ooh. I, lo I, I love Bowser, mm. don't get me wrong. Um, Bowser, honestly, I think, like, in terms of the Mario universe, I think he's the most complicated character. I think he's, like, the most interesting, like, from a character standpoint. Just, he, there's always something going on with him. And I love Bowser, and I, I you know, I, I think he's a great choice, and I would never get on anybody's case for picking him or Eggman or anybody like that. But I just, I... I just think they're not the most effective villains, that's all. I don't disagree. But like I said, that's part of what I like about him. Oh, Josh. Man. This is a tough one. I, I was thinking in my mind, like, maybe from Final Fantasy IX, Kuja, because, like, he's such a badass. Uh, like, from when you meet him, up until you find out he's doing all this because he's afraid of dying. And, like, He's super, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Vulnerable, near the end. <clears throat> uh, but I think I'd have to go with Gear Him just for the pure craziness. <laughs> oh, man. Gear Him is awesome. Stole mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, I'm barely up to that today. <laughs> it, it, it's fine, it's fine. I, I'd like, let, 
if I can elaborate, because I'm picking gear of him. Yeah, like, go ahead. Everything <laughs> that uh, Don was saying about bosses that interact with you, uh, that applies to gear of him as well. Mm-hmm. And, like, I... For those of you who haven't already, go to the Adam and Ditto blog. I wrote a blog that compares um, all the things they did wrong and how they fixed it with uh, with zero with with gear him. Excuse me. It's like how he's he's this super effeminate, uh, creepy dude, but how they emphasize the fact that he's got this inner madness and that you get the chance to see him eventually lose control of it and how watching that gradual progression makes it all the more terrifying and you know whereas like uh ganon like his relies on mystery and then it's an intimidating power but girahim like you watch as his power uh deforms itself and that's what's that's what uh, wins him over for me. What I really like about Gearham is how, like, you kind of touched on it, but he sort of, like, unravels, like, throughout the game. <laughs> like you said, he just he just keeps losing it more and more. And, and like... Mm-hmm. Like, he, he has just, like, an itty-bitty temper, tramp- temper tantrum when you first meet him. But, like, eventually, like, after, he, after your second fight with him, and he's... And his, like, skin starts to crack, he's just... You can just see it in his eyes that he's had he's had enough of your shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this, this is all this is all with his you know circus ringleader and fabulous <laughs> exterior. <laughs> I that, I actually wanted to say I'm sorry. Go ahead and finish, and then I'll. No, I I was done. Okay. I wanted to say when Josh was talking about Kuja that like I never beat Final Fantasy IX. But, like, seeing him in Dissidia and just how, like, flamboyant and effeminate he is, mm-hmm. uh, I actually think is kind of, like, I, 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 I don't know if this was intentional or not, but I find myself really liking that. Because, like, in FF7, Sephiroth is, like, the most pretty boy, like, long-haired, <laughs> you know, villain that so many people were like, oh, he's, he's so, you know, pretty. And I feel like, again, I never beat Nine, so I might be way off base here, but I feel like they, like, intentionally, like, played that up with Kuja, that he's this, like, super, just pretty, pretty boy, you know? And uh, I like that about him. I'm, I'm doing a bad job of selling it, but I think it's it's interesting. Well, like, his whole personality is, like, he's into, like, drama, and he thinks it's all, like, a play, and everyone else is just pawns for his schemes. Yeah. Basically, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I thought he was interesting, and I'd say he's, like, right up there, but I think Gear Him just etches him out so much more. <laughs> uh, is, does anyone else still have to go? Uh, that's me, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh... Man, I didn't even think about Hades until Don mentioned him, uh, which is kind of sad, actually, because he is one of my favorites. But, like, off the top of my head right now, um, I I think I, I think I'm gonna say Getsis from Black and White. Uh, oh, I wasn't really like when I got to the end of Black and White. I like I was expecting to battle in. Like, how can you not? Like, there was uh, there was this huge build up to that. Well, you and do then, battle in. Like, yeah. Well, like I was like I'm getting to. Like I, I was expecting, like you know, you battle him, you beat him, and then Getsus walks in, and you have to battle him too. And I, I can't, I knew I was expecting something else to happen, like at the end of the game, but I wasn't quite expecting him to just come in and reveal that you know, it was all a, a ploy, like in his favor. Like he completely manipulated in and and Team Plasma to suit his own needs, and I, just, I think that makes him awesome. <laughs> just I did, I can't say that I saw that coming. And uh, I love it when. Uh, when a game I, I love it when games. Do. Yeah, I love it when I love it when games do that. So, uh, I I gotta say, Getsis. I really like him. It's a good answer. I didn't even right. go Getsis. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely Getsis was part of it, but like black and white, just in general, did the the climactic final showdown. So oh, yeah. So right. After the disappointing like. Steven and like Cynthia, yeah, no, Cynthia was really cool, but I still nothing beats. Yeah, why her though? Yeah, fucking first yeah. gen. Like, oh my god, it's that asshole. Nothing beats that. Mm-hmm. But, black, 
<laughs> but black and white came really uh, close. I will say, black and white came really close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say it actually beat it. I, I said that earlier, but you know that that that's just me. Yeah, I that's yeah. I wouldn't ar sit here and argue with you. I think that's a fine opinion to have because it's close for me. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying it's what he, it's that uh, he made the game great, but like he made he kind of made the story for me. Like I I can't say that I was expecting to battle like two bosses at the end of the game. So mm -hmm. that was I like that favorite villain. It's like you thought you had your cathartic release. Yeah. You thought you beat the game, but no, there's nope. <laughs> there's more. The, more. the big grr bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 